I'm going to share a very unusual recipe, unusual maybe to you, but uh, really delicious. It's caramelized onion pasta, and it's one of those recipes that uh, requires just a few ingredients. We probably already have some of these ingredients at home. This time of year, we don't like to you know, buy lots of stuff and make complicated dishes, but the flavors, this is all about one of those favorite flavors for many of us, caramelized onions. We love that, don't we? When we cook onions a long time, the sugars, natural sugars, caramelize uh, the flavor there, and you have that for burgers and steaks, side dishes, it's just absolutely wonderful. And it's gonna be good for pasta too. So this is a really interesting dish. If you wanted to add a few more things to it, you could, and let's go ahead and get right to it. In this particular skillet or pot, I have some onions. They're beginning to brown. I want them to be brown. And these are cooking in two tablespoons each of butter and olive oil on fairly low heat. I don't want too high of a heat. We are gonna put garlic in here, but I don't want to put the garlic in at the very beginning because as I've said many times, garlic can burn on you if it's in there too long. And once you burn garlic, oh, it's a horrible flavor. And you have to start over again. And you can't really take out that flavor. So now that I've already pretty well long in cooking the onions, I'll add the garlic. Medium low heat, lots of butter, and it's gonna be just a delicious flavor there. To that, I get to add one of my favorite things, red pepper flakes. There's tons of them over in that drawer over there, these little packets. Actually, I'm gonna add two packets of them today. Add some extra heat because these are, with the long cooking time of these onions and the garlic, the flavor is not gonna be as abrupt on the palate, even though I'm using two of those packets of red pepper flakes. Put some black pepper in there. Squeeze a little salt, but I generously salted the pasta water when I cooked the pasta. And right now I don't need anything else, at least for the second. I'm gonna continue to cook this down, and then when I like the brownness, the caramelization on the onions, I'm going to add some pasta that I cooked to that. We're gonna add Parmesan cheese and a little bit of the pasta water that I held back. The idea is to make the sauce glossy. That's what you want, and I'm gonna do that a bit later on. Can't do it right this second. And then you're gonna add more Parmesan cheese at the end. Onions, garlic, red pepper flakes, salt and pepper, of course, olive oil, butter, and that's all you really need for this delicious dish, which absolutely smells divine. What other protein could I put in there if I wanted to? Well, gosh, you could put in some ham. You could put in a little sherry, which isn't a protein, but a little sherry probably would taste good in there. Uh, even some chicken and shrimp might be good with this particular dish. So what I'm gonna do is gonna let this cook down and then we're gonna add that pasta to it. One thing that's very important, we did a 60 second kitchen on the other channel, our other channel about this. When you cook pasta, make sure you add plenty of salt to the pasta water. That's the only chance that you have to season the pasta. And also, never, ever, ever, ever put olive oil in your water that you're cooking the pasta in. As a urban legend in the cooking world that if you do that, it keeps those noodles from sticking together. Actually, what it does, it puts that coating on those noodles and then the noodles won't absorb any of the sauce and the flavor won't be as good. And it's not really gonna do you any good. Save the olive oil for your finishing sauces and that sort of thing. So these are browning up just beautifully right now. Just a couple more seconds on that. Then I'll go ahead and add the pasta. We'll serve it up at the end of the show. Simple dish, wonderful ingredients, wonderful flavors. Uh, also wonderful will be the extended forecast. I'll show that to you next.